Hello. In uh, this particular lesson, we are going to uh, look at the various security based aspects of the WSO2 API manager. Uh, so, one of the first things, uh, concepts I'd want to talk about is passing user attributes to uh, the backend in the API invocation. So, if I were to explain this concept, uh, usually an API invocation uh, uh, making application uh, does not have access to the attributes of the user that is actually using that application. Uh, and if you look at the actual uh, API call that goes between uh, that is sent by that application, it only contains the access token which is used to identify the uh, application. Uh, but it could be that your uh, backend actually wa is interested in uh, various uh, attributes of the users that are actually using uh, con uh, and consuming your APIs. Uh, so that would be the end users. So for example, you might want to uh, find out uh, what is the age range of the end users of your API or uh, what location they come from, for example. Uh, so, these attributes are usually stored in your user store and uh, API manager provides a way of accessing, uh, accessing these attributes from your user store and passing them uh, to the backend. So, how this works is that uh, when, the call, uh, when the API invocation is intercepted by the key manager, it will look up the uh, attributes in the user store and uh, using a JSON web token, uh, it will uh, it will send these uh, uh, attributes or claims to the backend. So it will actually append the uh, JWT to the API call that is being sent to the backend. So the original API call from your uh, from the application does not contain this JWT, is actually appended by the uh, API manager and pass along to the backend for processing. Uh, so another thing that the WS2 API manager supports is the ability to work with uh, secure backends. Uh, so what I mean by secure backends is that backends that require specific credentials in order to gain access to them. Uh, so you don't want to these credentials to be shared with the uh, 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 applications that are actually uh, going to be invoking uh, your backends or your APIs. Uh, so the API manager has an elegant solution to uh, solve this. Uh, you can actually uh, set up the uh, credentials uh, in the API proxy that is created in the API manager. So these credentials will not be exposed to the outside world, uh, but they will be within API manager itself. And when the API invocation uh, is intercepted by API manager, it will uh, pass those credentials along with the API invocation to the backend. Uh, so the API manager uh, supports uh, two types of uh, authorizations for these kind of uh, backends and that is uh, basic auth and digest auth. Uh, so next, uh, next let's take a look at how uh, the API manager secures credentials that are stored in its configurations. Uh, so like all WS2 products, uh, the API manager uh, requires uh, that uh, various uh, user credentials are stored inside its configurations in order for it to uh, achieve various functionalities. Uh, at the same time, you don't want these uh, user credentials uh, to be exposed to anyone who actually looks at your configurations. Uh, so how this is solved uh, by the API manager is that it uses a component called a secure vault to encrypt these user credentials in the actual configuration files. Uh, so secure vault uh, uses the private key that is stored in the Java key store of the product to encrypt uh, those particular uh, credentials. And of course, when these uh, credentials are read by the product itself, they are decrypted so that the product can use them. So another uh, aspect of the API manager is that it has the ability to support an external key manager. 
As you know, uh, the API manager comes with its own key manager uh, built in, uh, which supports all the basic functionality required for the API manager to uh, function. But if you want to have access to uh, any extended kind of uh, identity authorization based functionality, the API manager has the option of configuring the WSO2 identity, identity server as the key manager instead for you to gain access to those uh, functionalities. In addition to that, you can set up any other third party uh, identity server product as the key manager uh, of the WSO2 API manager and this can be done by implementing uh, a, a Java wrapper interface. Um, so then next let's just talk about some of the uh, extended authentication features uh, that I mentioned earlier that you can gain access to by configuring the WSO2 identity server as the key manager. Uh, first off, there is a SSO which uh, allows you to uh, only have to log in to the uh, application only once and after that uh, the WSO2 identity server via SAML uh, enables you to uh, uh, log into other uh, parts of the application UI without having to enter your credentials in again. And uh, uh, another uh, extended feature is the role based access control via SACML which is also supported by the identity server. Um, and the another ex aspect of the API manager is that it provides a way of security, securing the OAuth credentials that are stored within the product. So uh, specifically sensitive uh, OAuth credentials are the client secret and the access token. Uh, so both of these information are stored within the API manager database of the product and uh, the WS2 API manager provides a way of encrypting these two, uh, uh, these two fields so that uh, even if someone gains access to your database, they are unable to uh, make use of the client secret and the access token uh, that is stored within that database. So this actually protects uh, uh, your, uh, application, your uh, applications and your APIs as well uh, from uh, uh, being affected by uh, data theft as well. So that concludes uh, the look at uh, the various uh, security aspects of the WSO2 API manager. Thank you. <laughs>